Sebastian told us at the very beginning of episode one, witchcraft is wishcraft. So be careful what you wish for. Episode 302, the heart is a devil. If you want to undo all of this, then you will have to undo it without me. You are the only one in heaven or earth who can destroy it. Mary's been resurrected to be sent on a suicide mission to use the ability she has as the boy's physical mother to actually destroy it the body he's in. If she thought, okay, I accomplished the one thing I could accomplish, I saved John Alden, Tito gives her a very simple message. And we see that apocalyptic image of what's to come under the boy's regime. My dear mother and my most trusted friend have so much to discuss. The boy has left Mary in the hands of the Sentinel. He's gonna find out why is she really here. He's gonna look deep inside her in a very creepy way. To our surprise, the Sentinel says, what she says is true. She's come back to you. The boy's overjoyed. And he immediately wants to celebrate by doing the one thing he misses most from his mother, which is those baths they used to share. Drowns him, stabs him, it's like Rasputin. I mean, she really takes him out. Mother, how could you? The boy's like, you failed my last test. Sentinel grabs her, he's holding up there, and he's like, okay, now can I kill her? By all accounts, looks like she's gonna get her plan B, which is a swift return to the grave. One of the great new characters in Salem, Dinley. Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Every bone in his body has been crushed. Barber surgeons back then, yeah, they were doctors. This is like the name, it's just what it says in the package. He's a barber and he's a surgeon. Yeah, the guy who cuts your hair is also the guy that's gonna like cut off your arm if it needs to be cut off. Suspicious death then. Well, in Knocker's Hole, all deaths are suspicious. Well, I care about this one. It's almost like a pre-colonial procedural crime show, you know? Isaac investigates. Every man. Even a poor man, even a bad man, deserves dignity and death. I found your uncle's body on the street. I've got a new home. Somebody who cares about me. Isaac's like a bit of a dog with a bone with this. Even though lots of folks are going to be telling him, let it go, let it go. But little does he know, of course, that it's a crime that leads right to the doorstep of Mercy Lewis, who he'd desperately like to find and somehow get at. Please, how can I serve you? I had shall we say, it, an arrangement with your predecessor. May you rest in pieces. And would be prepared to offer your charming establishment the same generous protection. The mercy that we see, she's a woman now. What she's done is she's kind of taken over the what was the sort of ramshackle brothel in Knocker's Hole on Salem's Night Town. And she's really changed it. And she's running the brothel her own way. To the love of business. And the business of love. Oh. There's a little chemistry between these two. As we see, it's going to turn out to be the beginning of a very interesting relationship between two very unexpected characters. This is your work. What have you 